from around the globe. It's theCUBE, with digital coverage of IBM Think 2021. Brought to you by IBM. Hello and welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of IBM Think 2021 virtual. I'm John Furrier, your host of theCUBE. Uh, we're virtual this year, in, in real life soon, right around the corner as we come out of COVID. We've got a great guest, a CUBE alumni, Jerry Cuomo, IBM fellow, VP, CTO for IBM Automation. Jerry, great to see you. Uh, been on since, yeah. God, almost since the early days of theCUBE. Good to see yeah, you. Yeah, John, thrilled to be back again. Thank you. What I love um, about our conversations, one is you're super technical, you've got patents under your belt, you're in the cutting edge, you've been involved in web services and web technologies for a long, long time. You're constantly riding the wave. And also you're um, a creator of a great podcast called The Art of Automation, which is the subject of this discussion as automation becomes central in cloud operations and hybrid cloud, which is the main theme of this event this year and the industry. So great to see you. Uh, first, look, give us a little background for the folks that may not know you about your history with IBM and who you are. Yeah, so thanks, John. So I'm, I'm Jerry Cuomo. Um, I've been with IBM for about three decades and I started my career at IBM Research in Yorktown at the dawn of the internet. And I've been incredibly fortunate, as you mentioned, to be on the forefront of many technology trends over the last three decades, internet software, middleware, including being one of the founding fathers of WebSphere software. Uh, I recently helped uh, launch the IBM blockchain initiative and now all about AI powered automation, which actually brings me back to my roots um, of studying AI in graduate school. So it's kind of come full circle for me, you know, really, you know, enjoying the topic. You know, it's funny you mentioned AI in graduate school. I was really kind of into AI when I was an undergraduate and get a master's degree in computer science. I kind of went the MBA route. But if you think about what was going on in the eighties during those systems times, a lot of the concepts of systems programming and cloud operations kind of gel well together. So you got this confluence of computer science and engineering, AKA now DevOps, That's DevSecOps right. coming together. This is actually a really unique time to bring back the best of the best concepts, whether it's AI and systems and computer science and engineering into this automation. Could you share your, your view on this? Because you're in a unique position. You've been there, done that. Now you're on the cutting well, edge. We can reach your thoughts. Yeah, absolutely, John. And just when you think of automation and time, automation is not new. Literally, if you go into Wikipedia and you look up automation, you see patents and references to like steam engine regulators at the dawn of the industrial era, right? So automation has been around and, and, and in its simplest form, automation, whether it was back then, um, whether it was in the eighties or today, it's about applying technology and that, that performs, that uses like technology software to perform tasks that were once exclusively done by us humans, right? So, but, but now what we're seeing is, is AI coming into the picture and, and changing the landscape um, in an interesting way. But I think at its essence, you know, automation is this two-step dance of both eliminating repetitive mundane tasks that help reduce errors and free up our time. So we get back the gift of time, but also helps, it's not about taking jobs away at that point. As I said, it's a two-step dance, that's step one. But if you stop there, you're not getting the full value. Step two is to augment our skills, right? And, and to use automation to help aug augment our skills. And we get speed, we get quality, we get lower costs, we get uh, improved user experience. So whether it was back in the steam engine times or today with AI, you know, automation is, is evolving with technology. And it's interesting too, it's, you know, as a student of the history of the computer industry as you are, and now a creator with your podcast, which we'll get to in a second, you're starting to see the intersection of these concepts and not bespoke as much as they used to be. You got transformation, digital transformation, and right. innovation are connected and scale. If you think about those three concepts, they don't stand yeah, alone John. anymore. They can stand alone, but they work better together. Transformation is the innovation innovation provides cloud scale. So if you think about automation, automation is powering this dynamic of taking all that undifferentiated That's heavy right. lifting yeah. and moving the creativity and the skill set into higher in integrated areas. Can you share your- John, yeah, no, right on there. When you talk about transformation, geez, look around us. You know, the, the pandemic has made, you know, transformation and, and specifically digital transformation, the default. 
So everything is digital, you know, whether it's ordering a pizza, you know, visiting a doctor through telemedicine or, or this Zoom WebEx based workplace that we live in. But, but picture a telemedicine environment, right? Talking about transformation and, and going digital um, with 10X more users, they can't hire 10X more support staff. And, and, and think about it. I forgot my password. Um, does, does this work on my version of the Apple iPhone or all of that kind of stuff. So their support desks are lit up, right? So uh, as they scale digitally, automation is the relief that, that comes into play, which is, which is just in time, right? So the digital transformation needs automation. And John, I think about it like this, um, businesses like cars are, have become computers, right? So they're programmable. So automation software, just like in the cars, it makes you know, the car self-driving. I think about the Tesla Model 3, which I recently test drove. Um, so with this digital acceleration, digital opens the door for automation. And now we can muse about a self-driving business. We can muse about uh, maybe that's step one, right? That's the um, re remove repetitive work, but maybe we can actually augment business to have an autopilot. So it doesn't need us there all the time to drive. And that's the scale that you talked about. That's the scale we need. So automation is really like the, the peanut butter and chocolate. Digital is the peanut butter, automation is the chocolate. They go well together and they produce amazing tastes. You know, that's a really, yes. <laughs> that's a really interesting insight. I, and I will just put an exclamation on point on that because you mentioned self-driving business, you're implying, you said com the computer, the business is a computer. So if you just, just think about that mind blowing concept for a second, if it's a computer, what's the operating system and what's the suite of applications that are on top of it? So, okay, let's go in the old days, you had a Windows machine and you had Office, which was a system software, application software construct. Okay, mm -hmm. if, you, if you map that to the entire company, you're talking about Red Hat and IBM kind of come working together, kind of connects the dots a little bit on what Red Hat could, because they're an operating system company. So if yeah. hybrid cloud is the system, Edge, yeah. hybrid, then you got the application suite is all software for the business. That's right. That that's right. And and if you you know if you listen to anything these days about what IBM stands for, it's hybrid cloud, and and think Red Hat as as you know kind of the the core element of that with OpenShift and AI, right? And both of those really matter in a, in terms of automation. And maybe I'll I'll come back to the hybrid cloud and Red Hat thing in a second. But let's just talk about you know, Watson and AI, you know, which is the, the application. And you, you mentioned scale, which I'm so glad you did. You know, AI could help scale automation. And the, the, the trick is, is that AI, some, automation sometimes gets stuck, right? It gets stuck when it's working with data that is noisy or unstructured, right? So there's a lot of structured data in your organization and it, it with that we can breeze through automation but if there is more ambiguous data unstructured noisy you need a human in the loop and when you get a human in the loop it slows things down so what ai can start to do ai and, and it's subordinates machine learning natural language processing computer vision we can start to make sense of both unstructured and structured data together and we can make a big deal going forward Right, so that's that's the, the AI part. You mentioned Red Hat and, and hybrid cloud part. Well, think about it this way. Um, when you shop, um, how many stores do you, you don't just shop in one store, right? You, you go to specialty stores to pick up that special um, ketchup, I don't know, or must in one store and, and maybe do shopping in another store. Customers using clouds, uh, John, aren't very different. You know, they have their specialty places to go. Maybe they're going to be running workloads in Google involving search and AI related to search, right? And they're going to be using other clouds for more specialty things, right? So, you know, from that perspective, that's a view of hybrid. You know, customers today, uh, you know, take that shopping analogy, they're going to be using Salesforce or ServiceNow, IBM Cloud, they have a private cloud, right? So when you think about 
automating that world, right? It's the real world. It's yeah. how we shop, whether it's for groceries or for cloud, right? So the yeah. hybrid cloud is a reality. Um, and how do you make sense of a high, uh, of that, right? Because when, when an average customer has five clouds, how do you deal with five things, right? Yeah. How do you I mean, make it easy, normalize? And that's what Red Hat really does. Yeah, it's, it, a, it's, it's interesting. I'll just, yeah. I'll just share with you though, when I interviewed Arvin, um, who is now the CEO of IBM, when he was at Red Hat Summit in 2019 in San Francisco, before he made the acquisition, he had that, so I, was pe I was peppering him with questions like, you know, you need to get this cloud, and he loves cloud, you know he loves cloud. So, so he was smiling, he just wanted to yeah, say it, yeah. he wanted to just say it. And I think Red Hat <laughs> brings that operating kind of mindset where the clouds are just subsystems in the OS. Yes. Of, yes. of the middleware, which is now software, which is software defined business. And this kind of is the talk of your, your, yeah. your views. Now you have a, a podcast called Art of Automation. I want to get that in there for the folks watching. Yeah. Uh, search uh, for the podcast, Art of Automation. This is the stories that you tell. Tell us some yeah. stories from yeah. this phenomenon. What's the impact of automation for the, the holistic picture? Well, well, it starts with a lot of, I guess it starts with customers. The stories start with the customers. So we're hearing from uh, customers that AI and automation is where they're investing in 2021 um, for all the reasons we, we, we briefly mentioned. And, and IBM has a lot to offer there. So we've made AI powered automation a priority, but John, in, in the pursuit of making it a priority, I, I've started talking with many of our subject matter experts and was floored by their knowledge their energy, their passion, and their stories. And I said, we can't keep this to ourselves. We can't keep this locked away. We have to share it. We, we have to let it out. So, so basically this is what started the podcast uh, around that. And since then, we've had many industry luminaries from IBM and, and outside, you know, starting with customers. We had Klaus Jensen, who is the CIO of Memorial Clones uh, Kettering Hospital to talk about automation in healthcare. And he shared great stories. You, you need to listen to them about, you know, automation is not going to take the place of, of doctors, but automation will help um, better read um, x-rays and look at those shades of gray on the x-ray and interpret it much better than we can and be able to ingest all of the up-to-date medical research to provide pointers and make connections that the human may not be able to do in that moment, right? So the two working together are better than any individual. Carol Polson recently joined me to talk, and she's the CIO for cooperators, to talk about automation and insurance. And she had some great stories too. Uh, so John, with that, a bunch of IBM, great IBM fellows like uh, Rama Agaraju, who is um, one of Forbes's top 20 women in AI research, talking about AI ops, and also uh, Rushir Pori talking, and, and Rushir has been working on Watson since Jeopardy to tell stories about ultimately now how we're teaching AI to code in all the modern programming languages and really automating application modernization and the like. Uh, four key episodes in, we have those under our belt, about six, thousand downloads so far. So it, it, it's coming along pretty well. Thanks, well, we'll get the thanks word for asking, out. John. And then you know, the key <laughs> is you're, you're a content creator now as well as a fellow. And this is the democratization, as we say, direct to audience, share those stories. Also here at Think, you released an ebook. Tell us a little quickly about that. We got one minute left. Give a quick, quick plug for the ebook. The, e the book echoes the podcast, you know, chapters relate to the, to the episodes of the book. We're dropping the first five chapters plus forward for free on the IBM website. Um, other chapters will become available um, and drop as they become available. The book makes the content searchable on the internet. We go into more detail with advice on how to get started. You get to hear the topics and the voice of those subject matter experts. And uh, I really you know, suggest you go out and check it out. All right, Jerry Como, IBM fellow, VP CTO, IBM Automation. Um, also a content creator, podcast, Art of Automation. Jerry, we're going to lift it, list it out on our Silicon Angle and our Cube sites. Uh, get you some extra uh, love on that. Love the podcast, love the focus on sharing from experts in the field. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, thank you so much for having me again, John. Okay, I'm John Furrier with theCUBE here for IBM Think 2021. Thanks for watching.